Hey everyone, Red here, and welcome back to another Res Requested. And today we have the Double Tap Ghostface build, so let's go ahead and break it down real quick. First, we have Discordance. Anytime two or more survivors hop on a generator, that generator is going to be highlighted yellow and trigger a loud noise notification. Second, we have Forest Hesitation. Whenever we put a survivor into the dying state, all other survivors staying within 16 meter radius are going to suffer from the hindered status effect for 10 seconds, and this hinder is a 20% reduction to movement speed. Third, we have Mindbreaker. While survivors are repairing generators, they are afflicted with the blindness and exhausted status effect, and this effect will linger for up to 5 seconds after they leave the generator. Last but not least is Rapid Brutality. We can no longer gain Bloodlust, but hitting a survivor with a base attack will give us a 5% haste stats effect for 10 seconds. As far as add-ons, we have the Drop Leg Knife Sheath. Whenever we mark a survivor, we'll get 10% movement speed for 5 seconds and we have a driver's license. Marking a survivor who is working on a generator will explode that generator for 20% progress and the gen will be blocked for 15 seconds. This build should be a lot of fun and if you have a build you want to see on the channel make sure to leave it down in the comment section below. If it looks like fun you might just see it here. Just as a quick note I know a lot of the stuff on the channel recently has been more from streams but I'm trying to get a lot more content out right now that is not just stream content but that is just YouTube only content. Uh, it's just a hard time working in the times available to do stuff, but I'm trying to get a little bit better at it. So bear with us. Hopefully you guys will have a whole bunch of content that you won't be just seeing from stream alone. Much love everyone. Now let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. All right, and we have the Iron Works of Misery. Should be a little bit of fun. I enjoy Macmillan for the most part. What kind of Iron Works? All right, we have the, the other ironworks, so it's not like the base ironworks of misery, which is good. I like this one a little bit better than the other. Don't have anyone over here just yet. I'm kind of waiting for discordance to go off, so I can hopefully get a little bit more value. Nobody. Fair enough. Oh, hey, what's going on, man? I mean, I guess we can hold it forward for a second. We do have rapid brutality. Most likely have a vault coming up. Ooh, no ball. Oh, but you kind of just pop out here. That works for me, man. Cool. That is a pretty fast first down. The only downside is that we kind of chase back into the way we've already scouted. So that means they might have a lot of gen pressure and, like, to the far right. I'm thinking on the back gen, maybe in main, but doubtful. Yeah, we're not here. So I'm guessing this other gen here or a little bit to the left over there. Just kind of one of the problems sometimes when uh, chasing a survivor back into a way you've already patrolled. There we are. Oof. I was almost able to get a driver's license pop. Where are we at? Just h hanging around that corner. There we go. Got a little bit of a haste. It's not going to be enough. Easy break, though. Nice blind. I'll try and follow. Here we are. Ooh, hey, buddy. Oh, yeah, he's going to pre-drop hard. If I can down him, though, Force Hesitation... Ooh, yeah, if we have everyone around us, Force Hesitation could go really, really hard here. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, though. Oh, and he had light. That's so bad for me. We don't drop Shaq, do we? Oh, we do. Fair enough. Go to the left. Nope. All right. I heard the clicks were more uh, from him, yeah. There's some rapid. They really hovered and protected him. Ooh, I thought I hard, hard fixed that. Hey, man. I fear I would have gotten to commit on the ball because we kind of hard committed it. Oh, he's already got some distance. Off the record was a pretty good play, though. He got a lot of value out of that. Definitely on the back foot right now of pressure, but we'll see if we can put this guy down. Not the safest tile. Hey, buddy. Yeah, so someone's around here. What's going on, dude? Not that it matters, though. You can't really flashlight blind out of lockers, but I do want to be able to down him for force hesitation. There we go. Now I know you're around here. Hey, buddy, what's going on? There it is. He's still slow. Get our rapid brutality, hunt him down. We definitely want to slug a few survivors if we need to, just for extra pressure right now. 
Fake. Yeah, no commit. Nice. There we go. Woo. Definitely going to be a spicy game. At least it is at the moment. They did get him up. I don't really have a good hook here. I would prefer to get him over to the hook by the logs there, but I don't want to gamble them coming and taking hits. And they've proven to be pretty altruistic, but not in like a game throwy way. At least not yet. Oh, man. I was hoping. Oh, wow. I wasn't even paying attention. I saw it for like a split second. Nice. Fake. Yep. Cool. I'll hold forward for a second. We do have rapid brutality, but I need to be on the lookout for our gens. A little bit of progress to the side. Looking for maybe a balanced landing play. I can't swing here, can I? Ah, oh, for the try. Hold on. There we go. That's fine. I just wanted to stalk him for later. Hopefully I can utilize maybe a driver's license. Early drop. Cool. No, we don't fake this at all. There we go. They've been playing pretty greedy, so I expect them to kind of make a lot more fakes. And so we just do the exact opposite. Discordance on that gen. That gen is probably gone. And the gen behind us had quite a bit of progress, but we'll see if we can play around it. Yeah, there's no point in ever going over for that Discordance gen, unfortunately. See my peak here, though. Yeah. Nice. That's the only regression we have in the build is from our add-on. So I'm happy we're able to get something there out of it. Moving around. Howdy. Gonna have to leave him slugged for now so I can pressure these other survivors. Ooh, I want to chase him, but I don't know how worth this is going to be. As long as he doesn't run to shack, we're fine. Nice fake. Fair enough. Didn't expect him to commit the second time. We still have one slug, so we have a little bit more time to play with. But he's got a pallet here. Come on. Oh, that wasn't a hit. Oh, my God. One more pallet to go. Let's at least burn this pallet. I'll decide what I want to do afterwards. We're eventually going to get stuck to a spot where we have to kind of commit to a chase. I can't just break right now. We know he has no more resources coming up. And a good down could give us value. Nice call. Ooh, there you are. Yeah, look at this. Coming right in for the uh, hit. I like it. That's fine. Let's see if we can prep this up. There we go. He had life. I don't think he'd bring Deadheart with it. I don't think we've seen him utilize it. Cool. But maybe he has something else in play there. Ooh. Someone swung in and did that gen. Nice. There we go. Okay. That's two. Ooh, here you are. Come here, buddy. That other gen could pop. So, well, someone got picked up. Maybe not. We'll see. Nice dead art. Yeah, I can't really fall for any dead arts right now. I can't go to autopilot. If I fall for that dead heart, I think it just costs the game, so. And the game might already be coming to a close. It just really depends how much progress they have on that back gen. But we're all here, so maybe we're lucky. Everyone's got a little bit of progress. I want I want to be able to down this survivor and play on it, but I got to be careful where they don't just double on gens. We got a little caught off guard there. Oh, I don't get it. Maybe Brazil? I feel like I should get that. That's fine. We have to leave it. There we go. That's fine. Gotta get the regression going in. We have him pretty much 99 for later. They've been kind of moving in and taking hits. I can't really afford to hit him right now, but... I can't at least branch away here. I'm guessing Renato's right here. Sounds like it. Hmm. Yeah, let's get rid of this. This gun doesn't have a lot of progress just yet, so... No need to worry about it at the moment. Oh? There we go. 
Just like that, another little detonation on the gen. Right now, really saving us. Ooh. I'm not really sure who to go for, though. I want it down him. Ooh, I could take him out. But if I can get the down on him, we can double tap it. Pallet drop. Yep, there it is. That's fine. All right, he's got a lot of distance. I'd prefer to go for Quinn here simply because we have him almost on death hook. So I need a player out of the game. Going for Vittorio over there doesn't really do me a lot of good. I'm guessing right back here, right? Oh, yeah. And they're working on gens. They're trying to get this last gen uh, cranked out. But we're trying to, trying to fight back a little bit here. I will lose the War of Attrition if they slow play it out, so I do have to keep that in mind. Without any, like, regression perks, we can't really fight forever on these kind of things. Hoping he comes back a little bit here. Once I get my power, I'll double check that gen. Just being a little patient for the moment. Hey, buddy. Nice. Just like that. Getting a little bit more regression. If you give him 99 and you can catch them on a gen, you can get a lot better value off a driver's license. Just because there's less time to react. It's a first hook for him, though. I could have left him slugged. It just didn't make any difference in that situation. Maybe we get here faster, but then, you know, you never know how a game's going to play out. Come on. Ooh. I want to at least get, like, halfway. Where are we at? The key to winning this game, I think, is going to be taking out the Quinn here. But he's been playing very well, so i be a little mindful. That'll have to do for now. Yeah. Hey, buddy. Mm, we can at least disturb both of them while we're here. I can't really hard commit to either of these survivors, though. If I have to hard commit, it's got to be to the Quinn. Hey, he got my gen. It was about 70-ish percent. Thank you. A lot of the resources are gone, but I can't chase over here because he gets vault. Yeah, they're trying to sneak in and get it done. And this whole time, I know Quinn's on the other gen. Yeah, he wants me to hook him. Yeah, the other gen's really, really going. Come on, let go. Again, hooking him doesn't do anything. This might be the moment where we have to commit. We'll see. Oh, yeah, now we're stuck to commit. Hold on. Come on. There we go. And we get it. Woo! Close. That's actually coming from the uh, knife add-on. Pretty good. He's still on the ground. They might be able to pick him up, but we at least get this player out of the game, and I guarantee ourselves we can probably claim a 3K now. Which would be the W, but we got him right there, so maybe still a 4K? Game has just been really close from the start. Kind of just a hold forward momentum, like with here now. There it is. Anything special? Nope, cool. Woo! Uh, what a close and intense game. You love to see it. And we got another game. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right. And we got the Grim Pantry. I'm not really a big fan of Swamp. But that's mostly because it's just a big open area. It can be pretty bad for survivors too. And that's kind of what we're relying on here. I don't see a lot of pallets out in the open right now. And nobody here. Someone probably back behind main building. Ooh, there we go. A little bit of discordance value. Don't mind if I do. Let's see if I can maybe take a good angle here. There we go. I can't see her, but I doubt she can, keep, can see me. But there we go. And 99 just so we can get some value later. Oh, they did see me. Bummer. One drop, two drop. It's the vault. Oh, hey, what's going on? Cool. And now we can chase you. Look at that slow. I will say the big open map definitely shows the uh, force of the patient slow. Oh, yeah, and she second guess. Oh, no, she thought she can get a lot farther than she can. 
Rapid Brutality coming in a really big clutch, and there is the double tap. There we go. Come on. Ugh. I was so if I could maybe peek somebody for like a split second. They got Meg up relatively quickly, so we'll look right here and see what's going on. Dijun has quite a bit of progress, which isn't surprising with those who slow down outside of like an add-on. Oh, hey, you actually stayed. With builds with like no real slowdown, you gotta kind of expect your game to go by relatively quickly. At least in the early game. Driver's license can definitely give us a lot of value. That's a bummer. Driver's license can definitely give us a lot of value, but it's kind of situational. I know we held forward more or less over here, but I don't know what kind of angle I want to take. We can double check this gen though real quick. There we are. Are we working up there? Mm, doesn't sound like it. And doesn't seem to have more progress than it did a while ago. So it doesn't sound like we came back and are just like hiding. Did heal under hook though. No, maybe not. Not the survivors I, the survivor I was expecting to see. I'm going to need a better angle. Hey, man. Come on. So close. Ooh, we got David back here, though. We have Renato kind of tagged for later. We'll take that. Rev Brutality. He didn't get a lot of distance since he vaulted. Ooh, it's going to be close. Does he have vault? He does have vault. Big swings. And we get it. Thank you, Rapid Brutality. I doubt anyone's around, so Force Hesitation is just going to have to go on cooldown. I want to try and bring him back to this hook. This is something I don't talk about a lot, but normally I don't have a great opportunity. This hook placement is really important for us because we want to kick this gen. We know that they come to save. That gen's not almost done, so we're not going to finish the gen first. But we have two gens here that can regress. And it seems like we have someone maybe in the area. So we can apply a lot of pressure right now and get a lot of regression, even with like base regression. Okay, so I'm guessing we went actually inside. We might lose a gen elsewhere, but that's okay for now. Ooh. Thank you. Hi. Hey. You uh you missed the vault, buddy. Don't gotta worry about this for later. Ooh, we can leave him slugged actually. Hey man. You'll do a lot more slugging with this build for sure, just because like force hesitation can make it definitely more oneable. Or can at least encourage it a little bit more. Now let's see if she went back for the save. Looks like it. You'll want to get survivors more or less out of the game, and so slugging becomes second nature here. Ooh, hold on. Look at that. Don't worry, Ghostface can... can tell he's stalk up to a lot farther than what people realize. I believe it's, what, 40 meters? But he can only be revealed at 32 meters. Fair enough. Howdy. This will be her second hook, so we definitely want to go for that. And then he has to mend still, so we got time. The downside is we only have one hook right here. Someone's working on a chest. I'm guessing it's got to be the Meg, though I guess it could be David. Oh, it's definitely the Meg head. Was that Spring Burst? Hard to say. Put herself into a really bad position here, though. It's an area that's a pain to deal with, but she could have tied into the other vault. Oh, no. That's unlucky. All right, let's get back over here. Again, I don't want to, you know, let off the gas right now. If I have a lot of pressure, we want to take it and go full forward with it. I picked up. I saw him crawling here. Yeah. Let's say I saw him crawling here a while ago. We definitely go for her. She was helping on the healing. There it is. Force hesitation is still on cooldown, so we won't get any real good value off of it right now. But we can get a player out of the game. Up you go, and that's one player out. I just went around and took a look, so I think they're kind of like hiding and stealthing up a little bit now. Do we maybe come back this way? Doesn't seem like it. 
Mine snuck by me, but who knows. We'll see if we can hide ourselves for a moment here and then go for the survivor. I don't know if he realizes how close he is to 99. There we go. Yeah, I don't think he was realized at all. Yeah, buddy. You were in so much trouble. I don't see anybody else. Oh, wait. I heard a David. Where are we at, though? Oh, fair enough. Well, we just kind of hold forward on this. There's no real reason to hook that survivor. We went out. Okay. Scratch marks be a little wonky sometimes. I think force hesitation definitely helped us there. We didn't see it, but he did not get as much distance for us like losing him for so long. Give me that haste. And now he can't break me out, so we can hopefully catch him off guard. Oh yeah, and he's just holding it forward. Oh, buddy is going down. Yeah, he knows. All right, let's throw him on the hook and then look for the mech head. Oh yeah, there we are. We'll get ourselves a nice little stock here. Ooh, I actually don't think he saw us. Hey, buddy. Oh, my God. He didn't see us at all. And now I know we have Meg here. But she's not going to be afflicted with uh, force hesitation, which sucks. Hopefully, she didn't get too far. Oh, there she is. Okay, we got to act like we didn't see her for a second. Just got to buy some time. Okay. Well, she's still moving, so now she knows. But... Now she's fully exposed. It was Sprint Burst. And there we go. Uh, definitely not as close game as the first, but still a pretty fun game nonetheless. And there we go. That is today's build. Overall, it was a lot of fun. You should definitely try it out in your games. It is a little tougher. And again, it has no slowdown. So play at your own risk and just realize that your game is going to go quick. So you're going to pull the trigger and definitely get survivors out as fast as you can. But again, a lot of fun. Much love, everyone. And until next time, I'm Red. And I'm signing off.